Hey acoustic guitar players, let's build a pedal board. Today I want to talk to you about the LR Bags Align series of stop box pedals and effects specifically for acoustic guitar players. You know it because they even got faux wood on them. Very cool stuff. We're going to go one at a time and tell you what they're all about, so stay tuned. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, visit our Spring Store link below for custom designed t-shirts like this. We have Patreon, and also we just launched a podcast with Cooper and I called The Fretboard Confessional. Uh, we're talking about industry stuff on there and interviewing some people. It's a lot of fun, so check that out wherever you get your podcasts. So talking to acoustic guitar players, we've done some videos on this channel already looking at utilizing effects with acoustic guitar. So typically in the effects stop box arena, it's usually electric guitar players that get to have all of the fun. Now, long ago I started using stop boxes and just basically my pedal board with acoustic guitar as well. I've demonstrated that before, how you can utilize that as well as have like a wet dry signal. And in my particular application, I'm usually playing electric guitar. And so I set it up with a kind of an occasional aside where I would plug in and you know use my acoustic guitar with some of my pedals um, through kind of a different routing of the effects. Now it's not ideal, it is a compromise, and the reason it is like that is because that's my one pedal board. But let's say I'm starting from scratch and I'm going to build something specific for acoustic guitar. That's where these pedals come in. Now there's others on the market like this, but here's the thing that you should know going into this video not all effects pedals are going to work well on your acoustic guitar. And the reason for that is because they are primarily designed to work on an electric guitar. They are set up with that in mind. Electric guitars are generally coming in with magnetic pickups. The amps are set up to basically give you a mid-range sound. It's not a hi-fi tone. Uh, it is what it is, but an acoustic guitar is very different, both in the sound that you get out of the instrument, what you're plugging into, and the pickups that are on there. So with a few exceptions, most of those are under saddle or behind the saddle or under the soundboard piezo pickups. There are some magnetic pickups out there like sound hole uh, magnetic pickups, but those are again also designed to capture that acoustic guitar sound. Now what is that acoustic guitar sound? Well, it's a wide ranging sound. It's not as narrow as an electric guitar. You've got strong bass, rich mids, and that crystalline high that cuts through the mix and lets us hear that finger picked or that rhythm uh, acoustic guitar within the mix. And that doesn't play well, particularly that high end doesn't play well with a lot of pedals and ends up sounding very harsh instead. So you have a few options. You can have an amp uh, that maybe has some effects on it like this Fender uh, Acoustic Junior Go that we are using. We're not using any effects on it, but this does have built-in effects. And there's some, you know, kind of big stop or floor effects that can sometimes do acoustic stuff. Uh, but this is, for me, where the sweet spot is. I really like individual pedals that allow you to more easily, at a glance, take a knob, turn it, and dial in your tone. And LR Bags, if you're not familiar, have been making acoustic guitar pickups for decades. They are renowned for being able to create a great system that truly captures the sound of an acoustic guitar and gives you as natural of a response as possible. And Lloyd Bags' crusade seems to have been, for all of this time, continually trying to dial in the best amplified sound of what your guitar sounds like. So with that in mind, they have this series of, uh, of pedals, and check it out. They've all got different kind of faux wood grain looks to them. And like with most LR Bag stuff, these things are stout. You could probably run over it. I know years ago at the NAMM show, when they first introduced their Session uh, DI, uh, he ran over it with his Ford F350 and then put it in the booth. I saw it had dimpled knobs, but it worked like a champ. So the build quality is definitely there. So we're going to talk about each one of these, but that's the, the provisor going in, is these are designed to work with your acoustic guitar going in through an acoustic amp or a PA system to really work with that type of pickup, that type of tone. The first one I want to look at is the reverb pedal. If there's anything that I think an acoustic guitar sound can benefit from, it's reverb. Reverb that is on uh, electric guitar amps is typically spring reverb or some digital hall reverb, and it can be okay, but again, it can be kind of harsh. This is a really nice setup 
you've got your reverb control that you can dial in, a tone sweeping knob that allows you to really make sure that you're not getting on the harsh side but dial in the type of tone that you want, a volume control that's separate from your overall signal, uh, so you basically have a gain stage there, and then your reverb decay. So rather than going through types of reverb, Bags has chosen to choose this reverb, which is kind of like a nice hall reverb um, that works really, really well with the piezo input of your guitar. Dial in a little bit of decay, and then what you have are big, luscious chords that can hang out in the background. They don't color the dry tone of your guitar. They just amplify the trails of the notes to really improve uh, and peak the harmonics and the sustain that you hear in the background. So we're going to run this through its paces. Just pay attention to the sound of what the guitar is getting through this amp with this pedal on. Check it out. Okay, so the next thing that I've said on this video, on this channel before, is with reverb, the next thing I like to use on acoustic guitar, if I'm going to have an effect, is delay. Now this darker wood, I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's pretty. This delay is really cool. It's got a lot of the features of some very expensive delays that are out there on the market uh, that are, again, typically designed for electric guitar. So you've got your delay that you can dial in, a nice tone control, the repeats, so how many tails you have to the note as it trails off, and then the time, basically the repeat time. Now there is a tap tempo. It's not a pedal tap tempo, so that's the only thing I would say is it would have been nice if the pedal was a little bit wider, um, you know, to where you could be standing up and kind of hit that with your foot to accomplish it, but it is there. And then you have a division note that will let you go, I believe it's from quarter to eighth notes that I picked up on it while I was playing with it. But it's a really fantastic tone. One of the nice things I liked about how they did this is that you can get this dark tone, but it's only on the repeats, which is kind of what you want. So with an acoustic guitar, you're hearing that crisp, crystalline initial attack that you want going. And then you don't necessarily want that on the delay. So the, the echo or the delay that's taking place in the background is going to be there, but it doesn't have that same sharpness of attack that allows you to have that texture, you know, and that rhythm that's going on without it being, again, in your face and kind of harsh, which is what can happen with some delays when you just plug an acoustic guitar into it. So I really like this. This is just a basic kind of provisor on the, on the demo of what you can do, but there's a lot of flexibility in this pedal. Check it out. So far we've looked at two effects that fit into the time effects category. Now it's time for some modulation and we're getting that from chorus. Chorus is something that's really nice on acoustic guitar. I will say personally I tend to find that it's best in uh, moderation. <laughs> so if you turn up too much chorus it can be distracting. Now knowing that I think is how LR Bags approached this. The whole idea of chorus is the same idea of a choir where you have multiple voices that have a little bit differences that when they come together can create this better, better and beautiful whole. The way that you can dial in the size of this chorus really is kind of determining how much is being blended into the dry signal uh, of the overall chorus setting that you've selected on this. And that will allow you to dial in a lot of chorus 
but make sure that it's not overshadowing the actual sound of your acoustic guitar. Again, just like the delay, that's what you want. You want that initial attack of the acoustic guitar, you want that to be heard, you really want the other to be atmospheric, to kind of be sitting in the background. But instead of trying to dial that in with volume, it's really being dialed in here with the effect. Now in addition to that, you've got your typical volume, which again is another gain stage, so if you're setting multiples of these up, Understand that that's how that works. Each one of these will be its own gain stage that you have to kind of match. And then you've got your chorus, your tone, and your size. So it's a beautiful sounding chorus that really can add a lot of texture to your sound. Take a listen. Now with the Align series, we're moving out of the effects, effectively, <laughs> that are taking place within this line, and we're moving more to acoustic guitar tools that LR Bags has put into a nice small stop box pedal friendly form. So this first one is the Align series session. Now this is based upon the acoustic session DI pedal that I mentioned earlier. I own that pedal, we did a review on that years ago, and that's a fantastic uh, direct box, okay, it's a, uh, it's a fantastic DI. This takes that same approach and what LR Bags has said when they built that previous pedal and this one is that the idea came from their session videos where they would bring in artists into their studio in Nashville, they would record them, they would put them out on YouTube just like we do our videos. And they brought in world-class studio equipment and uh, studio engineers to capture the sound of that and people would ask how do you get such a good sound? The Engineer's response is multi-band compression, EQ, and saturation are typically the tools that you would reach for when you're dealing with an acoustic guitar. And that's what this pedal does. So in a very small pedal-friendly format, you have your volume, your gain, and then saturate and compression EQ knobs. Let's talk about what these latter two do. So saturation is basically going to expand upon the signal that you have, okay? almost the, the opposite of compression. Compression's taking it and clamping it down. Saturation's bringing it and amplifying a lot of those, a lot of the EQ that's going on within your sound. That's going to take the weakest parts of your signal and increase them and basically saturate the signal. That's why it's called saturate, making it broader, bigger, warmer, wetter, however you want to try to imagine and articulate that sound. That's what's happening to the, the signal of your, of your sound. Now, compression EQ on this pedal goes from the other end and goes to squash some of those peaks, but it does it in a very specific way. It's a three band, very narrow band compression that looks at the EQ on your bass, your mid, and your treble, and just squashes them on the extremes. It is touch sensitive, which basically means that it doesn't have a hard knee on it. So what that means is that if you are playing with dynamics, your signal isn't completely squashed. A lot of times, if you put a compression pedal on anything, an electric guitar or an acoustic guitar, it can just take and just clamp down on your signal. And what you get is an inorganic, kind of dry, non-musical sound. Uh, one of the things I've, I've told guitars for years is, hey, if you want to sound more musical, turn off or change the settings on your compressor because a lot of times it's just compressed too much. So this goes at a, a very subtle way. It's going to clamp down on those extreme on the EQ in those particular uh, narrow bands, but it's going to allow you to play musically with articulation and dynamics and really not interfere too much so you get a real natural tone. Fantastic DI. This is a fantastic version of it in a stop box pedal and I highly recommend it. I love the one I own. I use it all of the time and it's nice to have it in this kind of form factor.
Okay, this is kind of self-explanatory. This is their line series equalizer. What's cool about this is this is born directly off of the LR Bags Paracoustic DI. And if you've played guitar for any period of time, you are familiar with the DI that I'm talking about. It's that brownish box that you've seen on stages all of the time. I can't tell you how many of those I've seen on churches, in coffee shops, in the bags of acoustic guitar players that I know when they're going to gigs. That robustly built metal box has sat on the stage and helped craft the sound of so many acoustic guitar players. And with good reason, it's a fantastic paracoustic DI. It's a fantastic equalizer for plugging in. So they've taken all of that EQ and they've put it again in this nice small stop box feature. Isn't technology great as we shrink things down? So you've got on here a lot of tools at your disposal. Of course, you've got your volume, you've got a notch filter, which you can turn completely off or dial in. You've got a high pass filter for 40, 80, and 120 uh, hertz phase switch, and then your gain at zero plus or neg uh, plus six or minus six, so that you can really, you know, depending upon the application, whether you're going into an amplifier or maybe you're going into a, a board front of house, and it's you know depending upon the pickup on your guitar, you can dial this in so that it gets the proper gain levels that you need so that you have enough signal and so that you're not hitting the front end of the PA too hard. The sweepable knobs here allow you to really dial in a nice sound depending upon what you want. So to demonstrate this, what I've done is I've gone into this Fender amp completely flat on the EQ and we've recorded just me playing that and then I've EQ'd this specifically to create kind of a nice rich warm mid-range bump. Uh, to go along with that 80, 20, 70 flame top tailor that I'm putting through this. And so it sh you should hear a really nice warmth mid-range once we've added all of the EQ on this. Check it out. Last but not least in the lineup for the Align Series is this Active Series DI. Now, I didn't demo this today. The reason is because I'm going into an amp. But if you are going into a PA, listen, church guitar players, I'm talking to you. Or coffee shop players who use this, the shop's PA system, I'm talking to you. If you've been plugging your guitar directly into that mixer and wondering why you don't like your sound, it's because you're plugging your guitar directly into that mixer. Um, that's not how it typically works. You need to go through a DI so that you can match impedance and so that you can bring your gain up to where it needs to be, or in some cases, bring it down so it doesn't hit the front end too hard. This is a wonderful active DI. You've got a through and an out. So what that means is that you can have your signal going in all of the time and it's either affected or not affected by the DI, or you can mute it when you don't have this turned on. So effectively, it works as a mute switch for you as well. You've got a ground lift, which you should know if you play at various places all the time where sometimes you're set up next to a clown making balloon animals in the popcorn machine. A ground lift is a good thing. Uh, you'll plug in and get all sorts of noise. So you've got your ground lift and then you've got your pad at zero dB, uh, minus 10 or minus 20, and a phase switch. Phase switches we've seen several times at this point. You use your phase switch, you plug in, you don't like the sound, hit the phase switch, 
and you'll probably like it because it's reversing the phase depending upon the circuitry that you're plugging into. What's nice about this is that you can go in and out via quarter inch or balanced XLR directly into the board. So this is fantastic. It's, it can also be phantom powered in addition to either a 9 volt battery or 9 volt uh, plug like the rest of these. So um, I already know somebody who's, who's personal to me that uh, has not been using a DI for years. And I've been telling her, you need a DI, and this is a nice small one, so maybe I'll have her get this one. Because the other nice thing about the Align series is that they're all relatively affordable. So, fantastic series from LR Bags, a company, again, think about it, that makes acoustic guitar pickups for acoustic guitar players to capture the real sound of your acoustic guitar. Now they've given you some, you know, techno wizardry, Swiss Army knife uh, tools for you plugging in, as well as effects chorus, reverb, and delay. So what are you waiting for? Let's start making our acoustic guitar pedal boards. I think bare minimum, bare minimum, you should get an active DI if you're plugging into a PA, and you should get a delay and reverb. Bare minimum. The EQ is really nice. I would go either EQ or session if you wanted to create a pedal board with all of these, because if you get the session, you might not need the EQ. You could, but that's yeah, probably overkill. So, Check these out. If you want more information about these, I'd ask Cooper, but he's not here. Cooper, where should they go? Uh, they want to go to alamomusic.com. Uh, we'll have information about all these. You can buy them online. And if you have questions about mix and matching, say you want uh, the Session DI, but you're looking at a timeline from Strymon, will that work? We can answer all of those questions for you. You can chat with us, call or come in or email, and we'll help you find the right pedals to suit your needs electric and acoustic guitar players. And bass players too, we're not gonna leave out the people that just play one note at a time. Isn't that right, Josh? That's right. Okay, <laughs> so if you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, and keep coming back for more. At the end of the day, the best guitar in the world is the one you're playing with tons of beautiful sound, delay, reverb, saturation. So keep playing, we'll see you next time.